I'm Jasmine Campbell and this is my expo demo of a pit shop. Um, unfortunately due to lockdown I am doing it in my garden because I can't get to a pitching area. Um, I've got a white stick in the background that will be my target line. Um, it would just be a little bit further away if I wasn't limited to space. Um, a pit shot is a shot that is played around the green and is a shot that is between your longest chip shot and your shortest full shot which is usually around 30 to 60 yards. You want to make sure you've got a club that's got a fair amount of loft. I've got a pitching wedge, but you could use pitching wedge, sound wedge, lob wedge. This is because a pitch shot travels further in the air than it rolls out. So you want to make sure you've got enough loft that it's going to travel further, but it's still going to roll maybe five yards. We want to make sure um, the ball flight is starting on target, stays on target and finishes on target and we expect to see very little curvature. So the first thing is aim. We want to make sure that the leading edge is parallel to our target line. This is so that our club face alignment is square and pointing directly at our target line. This also allows us to keep the dynamic loft that has been on the club. We don't change it so we don't add or D loft. We want to make sure we keep that loft. We also want to make sure that the ball is centred, so put in the middle or set up in the middle of our club face. This is going to allow a good centred strike. If it's off the toe or the heel, we're going to start to hit it left and right and not onto our target. If we then look at grip, we want to make sure grip is about an inch from the top. This is going to allow us to create a good amount of club head speed, but we've got control over that club head speed. We want to make sure we've got a neutral grip. This is where left hand goes on, thumb pointing straight down, two knuckles showing. This speed's pointing over my right shoulder. Right hand goes underneath. Again, left uh, thumb pointing straight down, V pointing over my right shoulder. By having a neutral grip with this square club face, it's going to make sure that our club face alignment remains square and our dynamic loft remains as it was. So we're not adding or taking away. If I was to have a strong grip, I would add. Weak grip, I would take away. And it would also go left and right. We then look at ball position. wants to be in the middle of our stance, directly in the middle. This is going to allow us to have our club face alignment square to our target. We're enabled to keep the dynamic loft on the golf club and it's also going to enable us to have the correct at down flow angle of approach. So our angle of approach is hitting into the back of the ball, creating a downward flow and getting that nice high shot shape that we expect or high, nice high flight we expect sorry we then look at body alignment for a longer pitch we want to make sure our feet knees hips shoulders are all aiming at our target along with our club face which is nice and square this is because it's a longer swing an L to L shape, L back, L through. So we've got time to turn our hips and clear our hips out the way so we can create an in to in swing path and hit a straight ball flight. Start straight, go straight, finish it straight on our target. If we were hitting a shorter pitch shot though, we would move our left foot back slightly. This is enabling us to clear our hip a little bit because we're not turning as much and we're not taking the club as far back, club parallel to the ground, through to parallel to the ground, we haven't got as much time to clear our hips. So although our body is slightly left of our target, because we're only taking it halfway back, we can still create that in-to-in -in path and hit that straight ball flight. In terms of our posture and stance, we want to make sure that we set up feet shoulder width apart 
again this depends on how far your shot is if it's um, a little bit longer you may want to take your feet a little bit wider this is going to allow you, you to create a little bit more club head speed if it's shorter you can get your feet a lot sh uh, narrower and this is going to take that club head speed out of the shot without you having to try and de-accelerate or have loads of control over it for the shot that i'm going to play we're going to have it um, feet shoulder width apart so i've got good club head speed and i can have consistent club head speed when i'm playing this shot we want to have 60 percent of our weight on our left foot and our left leg again this is going to allow us to create that downward angle of approach the correct downward angle of approach so we can descending blow into the back of the ball and create that nice high shot this is why it's important to have the ball in the middle of your feet because if the ball is at the back and we create that weight on the forward we'd hit super into the ground before the ball and the ball wouldn't get the desired ball flight and if it was too far forward and we tried to hit down we'd probably not even hit the ball we'd hit loads of ground first so feet shoulder width apart weight forward and then you want to make sure you're a good distance away from the ball and the club i like to be about a hand's width an open hand's width between my belt buckle and the end of my club so my longest finger is the one that's touching the butt of the club if i am too close i'm not going to have any room and it's going to pull the ball more towards the toe of the club and i'm going to start to hit toe strikes if i'm too far away it's going to push the club more towards the heel and i'm going to start to hit heel strikes so by having the stance and the posture in a good position and a far enough away it's going to enable me to hit nice and central strikes so ball in the middle 60 percent weight on my left hands width away from the club this puts me into a good position to be able to hit a nice pitch shot just going back to what i was saying about swing lengths there's two that you want to stick to that is club gets parallel with the ground and then through parallel with the ground and then you want to make sure you create the second one is an l shape through to an L shape. It's very rare that you would hit a full pitch shot. So if you can stick to these two ways, it's going to enable you to have a consistent um, swing length that you go to each time, but a consistent distance. Let me show you how I would swing one. Obviously, I can't hit one, but just going through what we've said. So I'm going to do an L to L, so I'm going to make sure my feet, hips, knees, shoulders are all parallel with my target. Club head's parallel with my target. I've got the correct dynamic loft. Ball's in the middle of my feet. 60% weight on my left, so I'm creating a good angle of approach. And then an L to L swing, so an L to L swing. 